By now, I'm sure you've all seen the end of the Florida-Kentucky game. Seemed like two years ago, but uh, for the Cats, same result. Uh, a, a blown lead and a loss at home. And uh, one of the stars of Saturday night, Josh Hammond, joins us now, the wide receiver, and uh, played a big role at the end of the game. Josh, congratulations. I'm sure this Monday is uh, pretty nice for you and uh, your colleagues on the Gators. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you. So, uh, Take us through the game, and we'll get to the end last. But uh, it was it was a difficult night, and, it, and so many so many bizarre things happened, including uh, the loss of Felipe. Let's start there. Uh, talk about uh, his importance and and what now for the Gators. Uh, you know, Felipe is definitely that uh you know that leader for our offense. Uh, he works so hard uh, for our team. Just you know, he tries to be you know the best that he can be every single day. And uh, you know, he's just grinded so hard, and everything that he's been through. You know, from the four and seven season to last year, you know, getting benched and kind of everybody hates him. And, uh, you know, he's just been through so much and prevailed through everything that he's been faced with and uh, overcame so much adversity. So uh, seeing him go down was definitely devastating, you know, for our team. And, uh, you know, guys were just ready to rally and uh, guys were, you know, just ready to play for him at that point and uh, tried to go get a win for him. Josh, I want to ask you about that because you got you guys are football players and this happens a lot and you've seen it uh from the earliest times that you, you played the game, but when you see something that devastating, uh, how do you use that uh, for positive energy as opposed to the opposite? Uh, you know, just knowing that, uh, you know, he, he didn't, you know, take that last play and take it for granted. Uh, Felipe, you know, comes to work and, and gives his hardest every single day, every single play. So uh, from, a, from a player perspective, just knowing that he's given that effort for us and uh, going as hard as he can to try to make those plays for our team, for us to be successful, we would try to do the same thing for him and give that same, you know, feedback to him. So, so Kyle comes in and uh, and uh, he looked really good and really composed. Uh, I mm -hmm. bet you weren't surprised by that. No, nah, I wasn't. Uh, you know, I knew he would be prepared. Uh, you know, Coach Mellon does a good job, you know, rotating all three of those guys throughout practice, uh, you know, Felipe, Kyle, and Emery, just to make sure that they get the reps just in case, you know, you never know what could happen. And, uh, you know, we were comfortable once Kyle got in and, you know, Coach Mellon did a good job of, you know, with play calling to get him started, you know, throwing like the hitch early to the van, just, you know, get him comfortable within the game. And, uh, you know, he was able to make plays for us and help us lead us to the win. You guys were down and it, it looked pretty bad, um, but I know you can't ever allow that to, to enter your consciousness. So when mm -hmm. you were down by 11, what were you thinking? What were your teammates thinking? Uh, we just, you know, we had to get a stop on defense and uh, we had to go down and score, I think was the biggest thing and the biggest message on the sideline. Uh, we just needed to make the play keep believing in ourselves, keep fighting, keep swinging. And uh, we knew once we got it to pop that we'd be able to come out with the win. So we just had to keep fighting, keep fighting, keep fighting until we was able to, you know, get in the end zone and uh, come away with some points to help lead us to a win. So let's, let's move toward uh, the last couple of minutes of the game. Uh, Kentucky gets the ball back. They move the ball down. And, and you're standing on the sidelines uh, watching an attempt to, for possibly a game-winning field goal. I mean, there's not much you can do that. There is there. Uh, nah, you know, you just try to, you know, hope for a field goal block. Uh, you know, our, our defense does a good job of, you know, trying to affect the kicker and getting in the way of the lane of the kick and just try to disrupt them just any bit that they can just, to, you know, try to get it off track a little bit. So Florida gets the ball back. I bet you know where I'm going next. Um, <laughs> and uh, I mean, most people are thinking, OK, all, all, all Florida is going to do is just try to uh, run this clock out. So mm -hmm. uh, what happened? Uh, so, you know, that was the first initial thing, just to run the clock out. And, uh, you know, we knew the jet sweep was going to pop to the outside. And uh, Coach Mullins just told me to try to stay in bounds. So I just, you know, I tried to stay in bounds. It ended up popping and uh, going the distance. Um, I probably should have got down, but, uh, you know, it never crossed my mind just because I hadn't, you know, ain't nobody tell me. And, you know, I probably should have just asked, you know, situation, you know, if I do get the first down, what's the first thing to do? But uh, the biggest thing was just, you know, stay in bounds and, uh, you know, was able to get a touchdown out of it. So, I mean, you got the ball in your hand. I mean, you know there's no one anywhere near you. I mean, you're, right. not, you're not going down, are you? Uh, nah, not at that point. <laughs> um, you know, mid-play, you know, the first thing on my mind is, you know, try to score. So, I just, you know, got in and ran with it. Assuming it was a pretty good feeling to, to uh, cross the goal line? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, okay, let's, let's – uh, did Coach say – what did Coach say? I mean, I'm sure he – on one, on one hand, he probably would just soon uh, you down the ball, but on the other hand, he knows the game was now over. Uh, well, yeah, you know, after the play, you know, he told me uh, I probably should have just got down and uh, would have been able to just call, you know, victory formation and get out of there easier without our defense having to 
go back on the field with, you know, them being down by eight and a chance to tie the game up with, you know, crazy things going on. So just to try to eliminate, you know, those crazy situations from happening, you know, next time I'll probably be more aware just to, you know, get down and, you know, just end the game from right in there. Yeah, I think next time you're running for the touchdown too. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's, talk, let's talk about what's next because, uh, you know, there, there's always a new opponent and mm -hmm. uh, it's Tennessee. So uh, it's a new week. It, it's, it's new preparation. Uh, what, what, what's happened so far during this week four of the season or week five I guess for you guys it's uh, you started on week zero yeah uh, you know just continue to grow continue to try to get better uh, you know rivalry game this week so our biggest focus is just gonna you know be prepared for you know Tennessee's you know best game just because it's a rivalry game uh, you know this game always gets chippy every single year those guys get in for this game just like we do you know fans always going back and forth on Twitter social media about this game and uh, you know it means a lot to both universities about this game so the biggest thing for us is just to try to stay focused, to block the, all the outside noise, focus on the things we can control, and uh, just try to prepare as much as we can so that we can execute at a high level come Saturday. You talk about that rivalry, and it's you know, there's you know Tennessee got one a couple of years ago, but like mm -hmm. the Kentucky rivalry, it's been pretty one-sided. Uh, how how would you describe the rivalry though? I know you mentioned the chippiness, but I mean this is still a big deal for both schools, isn't it? Uh, definitely, you know, uh, you know the rivalry is definitely still a big thing. Uh, you know, Florida, Tennessee uh, is a game that a lot of people always look forward to. Uh, it's been established from, you know, way before my time. So we just try to continue that legacy and uh, try to do it for Gator Nation. And, uh, you know, we're going to try to prepare as well as we can so that we could try to come out with a win for not only just, you know, our football team, but our program and our university as well. Josh, well done, well said. Congratulations again. Uh, I don't care what anyone tells you. That was quite a touchdown, and it's going <laughs> to be a great you. memory. Thank you. I appreciate it. We're so glad you're watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, make sure you subscribe to ESPN+. Plus. We'll see you there.